the zero is classically aggressive and i don't see that being any different this year so let's take a look at the riders that are going to look at being aggressive getting in those breakaways to try and steal the march on either the sprinters on the flatter stages or the gc guys on the mountain stages we'll kick things off with arguably one of the most aggressive teams in recent memory at the giro uh as you deserve citron have been fantastic in this aggression they've had jeffrey bouchard winning stages i think he's won the stage or certainly the king of the mountains jersey nons petters won a stage a few years ago and andrea vendrame as well two of those vendrame and petters are back for more and that i think vendrame certainly will be hugely aggressive on those hilly stages but they also have a slowly rejuvenated Lillian Carmijan and Felix Gall, who is arguably the the joker in the pack for them. I think he'll be a very good bet to go on the mountain days and get into those breakaways. Baudiani have well. They're always aggressive at the Giro, but this year they've got a very interesting prospect in Filippo Zana. He's a very talented 23-year-old. He's done well at the Giro before. He's Last year he did very well at Tour Lavenaire, finishing on the podium. He'll look to go away and be aggressive in the breakaways of the mountain stages, I would imagine. Um... I think their best bet for a stage win is him, so I think they need to get behind Zana and go for those stage wins. A rider that I'd love to see get rid of any aspirations of GC and go for stage wins, although I don't see it, is Kofidis' Guillaume Martin. <coughs> if he abandoned any hope of GC, you would probably get the the new David Moncoutier going out winning six, seven King of the Mountains jerseys in Grand Tours. He'd be a perfect candidate to get into those breaks. And in nine out of ten breakaways, he would be the strongest climber. Just like... Baudiani, I think Drone Hopper and Drone Giacattoli will be aggressive. They've got three riders, probably three or four riders that I think will get into those breakaways. Tesfaction, Cepeda, Ponamore, and Sepulveda are all very capable of getting into those breakaways and winning from those breaks. Tesfaction is a very, very interesting prospect, though. I think he could go very well in the King of the Mountains jersey, as well as potentially sneaking into the top 15 of the Giro. Iolo Cometa will look to Lorenzo Fortunato for the breakaways on the mountain stages. Hopefully that he can repeat his fantastic ride on the Monsters on Calan last year. But they also have, in fact, their whole team could really attack and potentially win a stage. You've got Vincenzo Avanese for the hilly days. You've got Diego Rosa for the mountain days as well. I can't wait to watch Iolo ride. Intermarche come with a team, again, rising in power. They've got Gamay, Pozzovivo, Jan Hurt and Tarame, who be their leaders and I don't see why Gamai can't be aggressive on those hilly days I don't you know and win I don't see why Tarame in the, and Jan Hurt in the form they are in and winning on the mountain stages um why not Domenico Pozzovivo rolling back the years as well back to Alps in Phoenix now and we know that Matthew van der Poel will be aggressive it's pretty simple he will look to attack on those hilly days we saw that in Switzerland last year where he attacked in the leader's jersey we saw that in Coppia Bartoli 
earlier in the year. He'll attack. He'll probably win a few days as well. The final two teams likely to go for breakaways are Movistar and Lotto Sudel. Two riders that you can never write off being aggressive and never write off winning are Alejandro Valverde and Thomas de Ghent. I think despite that, they have two other interesting riders. Britain's Matt Holmes for Lotto Sudel and Ivan Souza showed at Berg, uh, not Burgos, um, Asturias that is in good shape heading into the Giro. Four guys there that could really attack and really win on the mountain stages.